CataractCoach.com. Why implant a zero power IOL plus the trick to load a three piece lens through a smaller cartridge? So here's the lens. Look at the calcs on the left side of the screen here. You can see we've crossed out the regular formulas. Those are not going to be accurate here. In yellow, that's the pre op refraction, a spherical equivalent of minus 22 diopters. So using a good calculator such as the Barrett, or even better, the lattice super formula at iolcalc.com, which is free, we determined that we need a zero power IOL. There it is in the middle frame, the zero power lens. And look at the right side of the screen, there in red, notice that it says on the box, it's a meniscus optic. And the calculations are gonna be different for this as compared to the traditional biconvex optic. And we've covered that topic before here on Cataract Coach. So now we know for sure we're implanting a zero power lens. The case is otherwise routine. We're going to make our incision here. That looks great. And we're going to speed through the case quickly just to talk about the eye well. There's the incision. We achieve a very nice capsorexis. Important to measure it to make sure we have a good 5 millimeter capsorexis to overlap that optic, which is 6 millimeters. And then let's cut to the end of the case, filling the capsor bag with our cohesive viscoelastic. There's the capsorexis. Looks great. And now it's time to load up the lens. There's the lens, zero power. So even though it has no optical power, it's important to implant an IOL. And the reason is it acts as a barrier between the anterior segment of the eye and the vitreous cavity and the posterior segment. So here we could put a little bit of viscoelastic here on top of the IOL. We'll pick it up with our forceps. Here it is, we'll grab that haptic very gently and now we have both sides of the IOL coated in viscoelastic, and that's gonna be very helpful for lubrication. Now to put it in the cartridge, traditionally you use a B cartridge, it'd be like boy, but here we're gonna do a C cartridge. Now the C cartridge is slightly smaller, it's also missing that peg. Normally in a B cartridge is the peg right about there. So what we'll do instead is, since we can't put the haptic on the other side of the peg, we'll put the cartridge here, there it is, and advance just a tiny bit, but what we want to do is grab that trailing haptic and put it over the edge of the injector. And now as I advance the plunger, the haptic is in good position and does not get kinked or damaged. So that's the trick in doing it. So let's implant the lens here. Go back, zoom in a little bit, squirt the cornea, and here comes our lens. Now the advantage of the C cartridge is you can go through an unenlarged 2.75 millimeter incision. If you're using the B cartridge, you may have to enlarge the incision. So here we go. Leading haptic should come out looking like a number seven, and it opens perfectly, looks great. And here's the optic unfolding. And you can see how thick the lens is. For a zero power lens, wow, is it thick? Very thick. And now we'll dial in that trailing haptic. Of course, the haptics are in the anti-S configuration, so that's the correct configuration. This lens does have a vault to it. So we do definitely want to get it in the eye correctly, even though it has no dioptric power. And that looks great. Here is a good reason why you have to put a lens in. This is a photo of a previous patient, had surgery elsewhere, and because the eye power came out to be about zero, the surgeon elected to leave the eye aphakic. Well, what happens is the posterior capsule became very opacified, fibrotic even. And then that surgeon did a YAG laser capsulotomy and vitreous prolapsed forward into the anterior segment. Now you have an anterior chamber full of vitreous. The vitreous is stuck to the corneal endothelium and it's causing endothelial cell loss. Now this very myopic patient is gonna need to have a full pars plane of vitrectomy. And of course that has its own risks and complications. This is an interesting case. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please check out cataractcoach.com Join us and sign up for our free email list. We'll send you a free email every morning with our case of the day. You'll learn a lot. Also, if you want to search for any videos, it's a much better option than YouTube.